this video, we're going to talk about downloading, saving, and uploading your SAM projects. The first thing we want to do is to go ahead and access our textbook. Within our textbook, we want to go ahead and select the module that we are working in. And then for this, it's the SAM project, which will open up a brand new screen. We'll go ahead and click Start here. Now, there's a few things that you should be made aware of here. You have the download instructions. You have the working file, which you'll be doing all the instructions here. And then you have a supporting file for this. What we want to do is go ahead and download each of these files. And these will be located in your downloads folder. If you're like me, you probably have a lot of files in your downloads folder. And so it can kind of look messy. When you save your file, you have the option of keeping it in your downloads folder, but I will tell you this, anything that you keep in your downloads folder will not transfer to another computer should you have to move in my computer lab. And so you probably want to move all of your files to a folder in your documents. The first thing you want to do is to do two things. You want to open up your instructions, and this is the file. Again, you have another project in here, so you want to make sure they match. This is the SCWD 16 1A. So there's 1A here, so that's our instructions. We'll open that. We'll want to go ahead and click Enable Editing just to change the view. And we'll split this screen here. The same thing with our working file. This is the document we're going to do all the steps in. And we'll go ahead and click Enable Editing as well. Move that over. So the very first thing you want to do when you open a project is to go ahead and save the file correctly. And so if you tried to upload the file the way it is, if you did all the steps and uploaded this, this file with the original save name, it will not take it. So we want to click File, Save As. And again, by default, it's in your Downloads folder, which students choose to keep their stuff in that folder. But if you move computers, again, it's not going to carry over. You'll lose your stuff. So we want to go ahead and click My Documents down here. And you probably should have a, a DIT folder. If you don't, click New Folder here at the top, type in that name, and hit Enter. And then we'll go ahead and click within our DIT folder. And we'll make a new folder called Word. So we'll click New Folder, Word, Enter. We'll double click that folder just to open it up. And then the changing the name is very simple. All we want to do is delete the one and add a two. So I deleted the one and added a two. If you're not sure, the saving file name is always here in this and it would be all the way from SC all the way to the number two. Do not copy the dot DOCX or it will not save correctly. And when we're done, we can go ahead and click save. And everything we do to this file, now we can upload that without any problem. Let's go to look at uploading the file. Once you've done all of these things, you wanna go ahead and upload your file. We'll click choose file. And I wanna show you something before. If we, this is our Word folder and our, our, our file that we say, change the name to. But if we go to our downloads folder and try and upload our original file, which is this, when I click open, notice that Sam gives me an error here. And it's telling me that I have the wrong file name. So it's very important that you save it right. Again, the file name is located here too, if, so if you're not sure. But we'll go ahead and map to our DIT Word folder and we'll select the correct project, which is the 1A. And we'll click open. And notice that red bar went away. And all you have to do is click Submit.